Hey there, it's been a while since I've done a lounge crawl. Um, stuck in Mexico airport for about eight hours on a layover. I've already put eight hours of work in, so it's got nothing else to do but wander around the lounges because my eyes are fried from coding. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the uh, VI port lounge first, and I'll talk to you from there. Then I'm going to hit the Aero Mexico Premier Salon Lounge, if I got that name correct. I've got to get a video of the entrance to make sure I got the name right. And of course the Centurion Lounge here in Mexico City. This is the Centurion Lounge uh, in Terminal 2. There's actually three Centurion Lounges. Terminal 1 International, Terminal 1 Domestic, and I'm in Terminal 2. So I'm in the Terminal 2 Centurion Lounge. And let's see what they look like. Okay, we're actually going to start with what turned out to be my favorite lounge, the VIP Port Lounge. And it's a fun lounge. Let's check it out. Hey there, hanging out in the VIP Port Lounge in Terminal 2 of Mexico City. i got to say, this is uh, one of the better lounges I've come into at Mexico City. The um, premium whiskey, Macallan 12, is uh, for a fee. Not bad, 12, about 12 bucks US. And um, they've got some free food, and shortly I'm going to be having a massage, which I'm really looking forward to. I'll update you more later. I did grab this footage real fast. This is the uh, comp whiskey, or the free whiskey, and drink mix is not bad. But this is the better stuff. You know, we got a Macallan 12 and some decent whiskeys over here. After I had the massage, I did check out the upstairs area, which um, has some couches and stuff to lay on. I did take advantage of this later in the evening. They're not super comfortable, but it is a quiet place to hang out if you need to crash. One thing in the port lounge, they did have some food. It was actually pretty tasty. I enjoyed it. I didn't get any footage of it. I was kind of fried by the time I got in there, and I just kind of sat down and had a drink and ate the food. I got to grab a video of it. Sorry about that. Next up is the Salon Premier Lounge by Aeromexico. Now, I could get in here with a Priority Pass, uh, but I think also because I had... Uh, the premier ticket going back uh, to Quito that I could get in this lounge anyway. So both ways you can get in. So this lounge has a little bit of class as you walk in. you got the timepieces there that are pretty nice, subdued lighting. This is a nice roomy lounge. It had some decent food. I enjoyed it. Hi there. I started, stopped at the Aero Mexico Premier Lounge. It's a pretty nice lounge. I got some footage I'll show you here in a minute. It's sort of expansive. The um, drink menu is a little limited. I'm going to double check that and I'll see if I can find some better drinks. They certainly have a round of uh, beer and soda and some sort of liquor here. And certainly uh, coffee. I see a nice espresso machine over there. Don't want to get any more wired than I already am. Uh, luckily I have some salad right now. So I'm going to have some of that after all the junk food I've been eating all day. And uh, in about uh, five minutes they're going to start serving poquita uh, hamburguesas, little hamburgers. That should be interesting to see how they are for sliders. Uh, let you know how this works out. Thanks for watching. Here's the small salad bar. It's pretty tasty with the uh, some decent lettuce and uh, ham, eggs, and cheese to put on the salad. Just how I like it. Almost an omelet. Okay, what lounge crawl would be complete without an American Express Centurion Lounge? There's three of this airport. I'm in the one in Terminal 2. Let's go on in and take a little peek, see what we've got in there. Pretty much when I first walked in, I saw these steps going upstairs. So, of course, I had to follow them. And let's see what's upstairs hanging out up there. Upstairs and downstairs are real similar. And since I got scolded for filming upstairs, I didn't film the downstairs at all. So I'm on my third lounge for the night, uh, technically four, but I'm not going to mention the one that I stopped into that was super small. This is the American Express Centurion-ish lounge. That's what they named it, but it's lacking most of the amenities of a normal Centurion lounge. Like, everything costs, and there's no food buffet, and the liquor collection is, um, sad. They have Bushmill. And the only scotch is red label. I'm not making that up. Um, upstairs, you do have a spa that you can do uh, some spa-like stuff in there. I didn't spend any time in there because I'd already hit the massage place earlier. But there's a small spa upstairs and a lot of tequila upstairs if you're into that. If you're into whiskey, this is not the place. 
If you're into tequila, yeah, you might get lucky here. I'll include the menu uh, so you can see what's all on there. But like I said, it's all to order and it all costs money. Um, I think I'll go back to the first lounge, the one that had sleepers and I could get a massage at. I hope you enjoyed the lounge crawl. Uh, I enjoy doing them. Uh, it's always fun to check out the different lounges. There's an overwhelmingly large amount of lounges in Mexico City. Uh, this was only Terminal 2. There's Terminal 1 domestic and international side. Even in Terminal 2, there was a city lounge, which I couldn't get into. Don't think. I didn't actually try. I assumed I could. There was a lounge by another bank I'd never even heard of in there. Um, so, great deal of number of lounges. Uh, I did rather much enjoy uh, the VIP port lounge. I did go back there. I did catch a little sleep on those couches. Not the most comfortable, but it was nice to grab a little nap because my flight didn't leave till almost midnight. Again, I hope you enjoy these. Uh, comment below. Let me know what your favorite lounges are. And uh, sorry for some of that background noise. Have a good day.